Hello everyone, this is Bernice from The Napping Mouse, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a 12 by 12 scrapbook page that I am calling Have Faith. Now, this co uh, collection is actually from the Have Faith from Bow Bunny Press, and it is an older collection that I um, have in my stash, so I wanted to go ahead and use it up, and I created this small little spread. I typically don't do a lot of 12 by 12 spreads. I'm kind of more into the journals and the tags and and cards and things like that. But I had these scraps and I wanted to use it up. And so I figured what a great way to, to, to do it than to create a spread. The supplies that you'll be using is you'll need one 12 inch uh, 12 by 12 cardstock. And the one that I'm using is sweet potatoes from my colors. I still have that... Um, in my shop and I'll have the link down below if you're interested. I've also created seven kits for this. So if you're interested in creating this, I'll have the link down below and I'll have all the supplies that you need. Also some extras of the die cuts, which we'll get into that later, okay? Uh, so the one 12 by 12 that you need and also you'll need 10, two and three fourths by two and three fourths square, okay? 10 of these. And then uh, one five and three fourths square. So that would be, be this. Okay, you'll need one uh, five and three fourths by two and three fourths rectangle. So that's this uh, two and three fourths, five and three fourths here. And that's the rectangle. And then also I have two here, but you actually need one of the four by two and one fourth. So two and one fourth by four. I've got that extra one for, we'll figure out when we get to that. And then in the white paper, you will need one four and three fourths square. So four and three fourths here by four and three fourths there. And then this one here is two by four and a half. Okay, that's the two white squares. Actually, this one is the pure white that I'm using. And this one is the soft white that I'm that I'm using. Um, I do have those two, um, and I sell them in packages of 10, so if you're interested, I'll have those linked down below, okay? And then also you need some stickers, some pictures, some die cuts. The die cuts that I'm using is from Bow Bunny, and it is called, it is called Beliefs. There you go. Beliefs die, and this is what you'll get. Now, in the kit, I will already have cut these in the, and I will include those in the kit um, if you're interested. But just so you know, all of these die cuts I've or, or all of these dies I've already cut one for you. That's in in the kit. And then I also get some extras. Now, if you have like buttons or um, lace or any scraps too, oh yeah, you'll totally need some scraps. Okay, and I'll have um, that in the kit too. And you don't have to use this particular one. So if you have your own stash with uh your own you know paper or theme that you want to go to you can use this formula with the stash that you currently have okay so now go ahead and grab your favorite drink and let's get crafting So the first thing that I'm going to do is set these things aside. Also, this angel is included in the kit as well. Okay, but I'm going to set all the white papers aside for now. And I'm going to set all of my die cuts here aside for now. Okay. Put that all here. And this. And I will set these two aside. Now I'm going to use my here as a guide. And I'll set that also aside here. But let's see if I can have room for the both. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so you will be able to see everything. You'll be able to see everything that I'm doing right now. So the first thing that I do is I like to work with um, the small one. So we're gonna get our two and three fourths by two and three fourths square here. And we're going to just kind of line them up um, as we see it now these are double-sided okay so don't feel that you have to use one or the other oop I got my notes there so yes but these are double-sided so we're going to head and go ahead and put 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and put all of them down first. And I'm just going to do it like kind of haphazardly right now. My goal here is to get, it's it's about a quarter of an inch uh, separation here, the mat. So that's what we're going to do, but not right now. What we're going to do is actually play around with what we've got and see if we like it. So that goes over there. Okay. So like, for example, do I want another one of this? Let's turn this around and see. This would be a great writing space um, for your craft or for your scrapbook. Sorry. Okay. And then this one here, I could put that here like I did with that one. Okay. And this one, I did this. So that kind of fits pretty much everything that I've done. Okay. Now, you can look at what you've got right now and if you like the way it is perfect but if you want to let's say i prefer this the big one the five and three fourths by five and three fourths on the left side versus the right side or i want this green next to this you know or i want that or let's see let's flip it over and see do we need another writing spot or should we just um have some fun with this you know so i mean i really like this image a lot um, let's see, I've used that image. Hmm. Do I want that though? You know, if I'm giving this to a boy or if it's my kids used to do uh VBS or vacation Bible school when they were younger. And so do I want that? But I like the background. So, Hey, maybe I'm going to have that there, but I'm going to put one of his pictures there instead. So it doesn't matter if you see the lady or not, because once I put a picture behind it, it's going to all cover it up and I'll still see the color um, in the background. So there you go. Let's see. Oh, that's the same. So mm, that see, that would be the same as that. So do I want the two together? Do I like this instead? So maybe I prefer something a little bit lighter, closer to that. And then I can work with this as well. And again, you know, you see that little thing poking out or would this be good with the with the rose okay but see you have options so instead of like say you want to put this here instead and then you want to put all the squares down here instead you have options because it's all going to work okay with the measurements that i've given you it's all going to work okay so the next thing that you want to do is once you decide where you want to go okay and i'm just going to leave it the way it is what's this back side i think it's the oh this is different Friends. Okay, I could just erase that. What was I planning on putting? I was planning on putting this angel and doing that. So, hmm, should I do that? Should I do that? You know what? I'll leave it at that right now. And if I don't like it, I'll just flip it around. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to, um, oh, well, you can, you can glue them down. You can take a picture of this. So then if you take everything off, uh, you know where everything goes. Normally, I will glue this down, but let's see if I could do something a little bit different. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. You are going to have to glue, uh, tape it down. So you can just tape it down temporarily. You want to keep it one-fourth showing from the left and the right side, okay? So for now, that's temporarily until we get everything down. And once we have everything down how we want, then we will uh, permanently glue it, okay? So I'm going to do this side and do the same thing for this. Now, I prefer working... You know, I'm making sure that this is lined up and this has like about a one fourth inch. I prefer working at the top and then I'm going to work at the bottom and then I'll go on the inside. Okay. But if you feel that you have an easier way, God, for sure, share it to me. Okay. Because I am all about easy. Now, did I decide it on that? No, you know what? I'm going to decide on this because I've got this in the corner and I just didn't want it to be uh, too much the same. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it on this side right now. Okay. So for this one here, this would be a great scrapbook spread. So if you have like two page spreads, but you still wanted to use the same thing, you can put like your picture here and your picture here. And then when you open up the spread, you know, it looks cohesive and it's going to look like really nice. So there's a thought, but if you have a better idea, oh, please share it with me. I would love to hear your ideas. 
your um, suggestions. Yeah, okay, so that is a little bit crooked. We don't want that. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today it's really, really nice here in the Hill Country, in the Texas Hill Country. Oops, let's move that ahead. So we are just going to enjoy this nice weather as we can. Okay, now I think that this is a little bit too close and I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Okay, so that's right. Then I'm gonna work on the side over here. So, but I prefer to work on the outer side first so, for example, you know, you can work on the top, you can work on this side here first, you can work on that side, but I prefer to work on the outer side and then I'll, I'll hone in on the inside. And then also I just keep in mind uh, to just have everything lined up. Whoops. Now, according to this, that seems like it's a little too much so where do i need to fix it and i can push i put that more to that to the left side okay so now i've got this yes that's what i was gonna do okay so i've got this one and now i'm matching this square here to this square here and also in on all four sides too okay and then this is my last one Okay, so there we go. Let's look that up. Let's shimmy that up a little bit. Perfect, perfect. So what do you think? It's a little bit crooked. So yeah, okay. Well, I am pretty much happy. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing them down. Now you can use uh, any kind of adhesive that you like. I just prefer to use liquid glue because first it gives me a chance to uh, move it around instead of just putting it down and it become permanent. So I could just move it around a little bit and gives me uh, like some wiggle room here, okay? Let's get that down. Now, some people, when they um, when they go ahead and put glue down, they like to put glue on the edge and make sure that it doesn't come up. I don't, I, I'm okay with it if it's not on the edge, really. So, um, you know, because once it goes down to the album, it's just going to stay down. So, so you know, and, and I guess some people want to take it out for a reason or another. But, uh, you know, you've got that protective layer, so it's not like this is going to move around so much. Okay. Oops. Also, a good thing to have around is a napkin. You know, napkin, paper towel, that sort of stuff. Um, some people use wipes. Okay. There we go. Okay, that here is crooked, but maybe we can remedy that once I, now let me see if, like if I take this whole thing out here and then just spread it. One thing about wet glue, and I don't know if you've had this um, happen to you, but when you apply wet glue directly to your piece, and you know how it, here I'll show you with this one, it like, comes like a big um like glob like that okay if i were to directly put this down no matter how many times i press it will show that um smear like the way i originally put it uh underneath or on the other side so i this is why i usually spread the glue so it could be nice and even almost like you're applying uh Mod Podge with a foam brush. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, let's work on that. So have we decided that we're going to do that? Or are we going to do... Okay, we've decided that we were going to do the other side because obviously look what I did here. That was so unintentional, but it's a good thing it works. 
one thing when you have double-sided paper is that you have more options uh, in your design. So yes, if you have double-sided paper, that's a great thing to use. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, you'll still have, uh, you know, other options, but double-sided cardstock, excuse me, cardstock does give you more um, options for decoration. Okay. And also folks, if you like so far what you see, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. That does help my channel. And also the algorithms of YouTube will show that uh, people like you are interested in what I do. And if you want to see more of these paper crafting, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to join our small community. We have a really great community here with a lot of people, um, positive advices, positive feedback, and I really so appreciate it. Okay. I cannot believe spring is almost right around the corner. I mean, we are at the end of me filming this. We're at the end of February and I am shocked. I am completely and totally shocked. It actually feels like spring now, even though it's supposed to still be winter, but it does feel like spring. Okay. What I could do is actually speed this process up so that you won't have to see me put all this down. And actually, I would love to see your projects and how they turned out as well. What you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Um, I'll have that link down below where you can put it. It's uh, hashtag the underscore napping underscore mouse. Okay, there we go. Did I put everything down? Another good thing to use is I don't have it handy uh, with me right now, but is a brayer. Oh, and here's here's um, some advice. Normally, when I glue, I glue like in the middle and I leave like the openings um, unglued because as I'm going, as I'm designing or creating here, I may want to put something underneath, you know, or um, I mean, like anything, like it could be a piece of lace or it could be some doily or it could be like maybe a photo has like some, you know, empty background and you can actually put that underneath or so that's what I do. And then when I'm completely done with designing my project, then I'll go ahead and look at the um, uh, corners and see where I want to um, add glue or if glue needs to be added. OK, next thing that we're going to do is glue down our piece here so that will go here now if you have it which looks really nice if you have uh, some decorative corner punch you can go ahead and use that this is one of my favorite here and I actually bought this at a an estate sale there was um there was a, a whole craft room that I just ended up buying that whole craft room and this came with it. This is a, a Marvi Uchida. This is how it looks. If I can find the name of this and where you can get it, it's probably like on eBay or something. I mean, and, and I've had this for over eight years. So if I find the link, I will put it down there, okay? But look how sweet that would look, okay? Again, I'm gonna put some glue back here and I'm gonna put minimal. Now this will, um, this is a great writing space or this is like a great map background for you to put pictures in or pictures on, excuse me. Hey, and another thing, I didn't even think about this, but I know that some people will at, like actually make pockets out of this to even put more stuff um, in it. So 
if you wanted to just do it like put the glue three ways here and have a pocket here or maybe this could have been a pocket yeah oh i didn't even think about that until now Okay, so I'm going to erase this because I'm going to put the white paper on top of that as well. Now, I'm hoping that this does not bubble up. It may bubble up, but let's cross our fingers that it's not too bad. Okay, let's put this one here. And I can use the same, uh, if you have like, if you don't have a corner punch, you can actually use like, the end of a bottle uh, draw it out and then that could be like a nice corner as well um i'm gonna keep it like this and then let's see maybe this will be better i still have this this is the oh this is the big one so i only have the refills of this one here okay i'll do it three like that how about that and make that now i'm centering it but you don't have to center it. You could actually do it like this, where it has the um, like a fourth of an inch on each side. And then you put something else different here, like another picture on top, maybe some saying, maybe another washi tape. It's just totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and center this because I am going to put that angel this is actually a really thin chipboard. Um, and if I can find, uh, this is actually from Bow Bunny as well with that went with this collection of Have Faith. I don't have this any longer, but if I do find the link to it where you can get some more, um, I'll put that down below. And let's just put some glue. Another thing that you can, can do is you can either ink this up or dab it with ink or spray it with some ink beforehand wait for it to dry and that will give it a lot of life and color to it okay so i gotta remember that next time okay no there we go there we go okay i'll let that dry okay now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to grab uh this here and this is the what two and a fourth by what was it again Where's my ruler? Oh, there it is. Hard to remember all this. If I don't have it written down, it's not gonna happen. Two and a fourth by four. Okay, so I take this and at the four inch side, I go ahead and I fold it in half and it creates a book. And also again, at this time, if you wanted to round the corners or do some kind of little decorative punches, um, this is a good thing to do. Or this is the time to do it is now. So I had put it on the top third square. I can go ahead and do that, but I really like that rose and I don't wanna cover it up. So I can either put it there or there. That would look fun. I like that. Remember, we weren't too crazy about that background, but I'm not too crazy for it to be so close to the green right there. I know we're going to cover it up, but let's see. Those butterflies are too. That is cool, but still close to the green. I think I'm going to put it here. Okay, I do like it here. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. And at this time, if you want to have like extra paper uh, to put in there, you can have like a little note in there, like a little secret message, a little note that would look cute. This is like good writing space. So, ooh, too late. Got to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to put that down here. Okay, let's open that up. Well, you can get some extra, extra scraps, for example, something like this, and then you can just cut it down and write a little note. Or if you want to uh, like use it open like a little book, you can go ahead and also do that, depending on how much um, memories you want to, to record. So I'm doing that. Now I have these little fun Hope you can see that against the white. Then maybe that wasn't so smart of me putting it against the white, but I've got these fun ones. Now I went ahead and I used the doily, but in hindsight, every time I open it up, the doily bends. So I can either put the doily more towards the right, or I can use another one. Like I can use this one here and that would look really nice. Or I can use maybe like, oh, and the, this is so beautiful too. This is one of my favorites. I could put the Holy Spirit there, okay? Or I could put the Holy Spirit like over here, okay? I will give you that, these extras here. Um, 
in the kit. So yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that like, you know, the the light bulb went off kind of kind of thing. And it would be better if you had a fine tip point for your glue. I do, but I cannot find it, so I'm gonna use this. All right, there we go. And you know what, I'm just gonna keep it plain like this. The one, or I could put the love, well the love is not gonna show. Let's put this down first and then decide. Ooh, a nice little piece of bling would look really good there. Or maybe like just three blings right there. Or something, pearls, that would look nice. Hmm. Oh, let's get our scraps. How about that? Look, look what we can do. Well, if I just do this, make sure that it's even. Let's see. I'll go like this. Let's just try it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, I just won't use it. I'll fold it in half because I want to make that fishtail. Whew, my poor hands. My poor hands are full of glue. Well, if it's not full of glue, it's not really considered crafting, huh? The next project I'm going to create is, oh, look how nice that looks. And then if I put like amen, I could prop it up with uh, some, yeah, amen. I didn't have my love here, but I'm going to put the amen there. So, you know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Let's glue the amen first down to this, to the little uh, strip that I've created little banner there's another the next project that I'm going to show you um, not in this video but in the next video is so messy so before I go out and get my nails done I'm going to have that video out because it's truly truly messy when you have something like this and it keeps coming up what you want to do is just grab yourself like a paper like this and then you can smear it down while you're still protecting anything that's underneath here and it's not going to move around okay but what i'm going to do let me see if i can find my i'll be right back. okay folks so i'm back and the, what i was looking for is my 3d foam here um, I still have this in the shop, so I'll leave that link down below, but I'm going to add um, two small foams like this so it could prop up just a little bit. Not too much, you know, because we're going to put it in, you know, we're going to cover it uh, in that protective sheet. But there we go. Just prop it up just a little bit. There you go. And as I was looking for stuff, I found this. Now, I still have this in the store. This is from Nod and Bow. Um, it's not the same color, which this color will look really well with this collection right here. This is, oh, I don't know the name of it, but can you see that? I'll have that link down below for this one. But you know what? What you can do is you can actually, like, tie a little bow. Like, create a little bow here and tie it. And then, you know what, let me undo this because I'm going to tie the ends of this real quick so it won't unravel on me. Oh, I'm so sorry for my nails and my skin here. Okay. Well, it's about the craft time, not about my, the nails. I try to convince myself that, but I don't believe it. Okay, let's see. Let's try this again. I'm going to tie a bow. There is an easier way of doing it. And once I find that easier way, I will show you. But look at this. I can tie a bow and I could put it down here. Or I can put it like across over here. Or what about in this angel? You know, or get some other ribbons that you have around the house. You know, just use those scraps up because you'd be surprised um, how lovely it will look. And you know you're not throwing it away so I will figure out how to put this bow down but in the meantime let me clear everything up here and clear this up there we go okay so the next thing that we're going to do is add this um, cross over here so this cross I like it when it has a lot of um, 
contrast to it. So that's why I put it in this green over here. I can put it here or I can put it here as well, like I did, like I did in the first row over there. I could do that. Let's go ahead and put it on, on here, okay? Now I'm not using the uh, 3D foam dots because you'll be able to see it underneath here. Uh, a way to get around that if you still want this to prop up is actually put um, glue this down to another layer of paper and then put the 3D foam dots underneath that layer. Okay, so there we go. You can write your own little message there. Uh, or just like put what what is your favorite verse but you know what I mean just looking at it with other than with the amen it doesn't look religious so you don't have to stick with that religious th theme this can be like a fun summer theme or maybe they went to camp or you know maybe they just had a great day um, with their friends or or maybe they went to uh, some kind of event outing or something to the lake or whatever so yes you can go ahead and do that so let's see oh let's do this i know i keep messing with this guy here but we're going to put him aside for now let's create these little tails here so what i'm going to do which actually would be easy because i've got this here so i will create tails here let's cut this so what i'll do i'll create the tails And the tails are easy, as you see. The All I do is cut the middle to how far I want that point to be on the inside. And then I cut from edge to edge. Okay, I'll take that out in a second. Okay. Cut that in half. And let's see, do I like these two together? Like, you can incorporate the two. I like it staggered. Oh, that's... Okay, I don't want that cross upside down. So... Let's do this, but I can stagger it and I can actually put, oh, that's kind of nice. I mean, I know this is busy and that's busy, but still I like it. Oh yeah, the white, the white, the contrast is so beautiful and you see it. So that's why it's, it's best to stick it. Okay, so what I'll do is just apply a little bit of glue over here. You can have the two skinny ones like this. You can have something thick like this or cut it down and make it a little bit thinner. Okay. And you'll see what I'm trying to do here. Okay. Let's, there we go. Now I will cut this. Let me trim this up and let me glue this down. So, a thought with, oh, that looks kind of nice on that side too, don't you think? What about that side? Hmm, did like that. Let's just stick with our original plan here. Uh, sometimes you can create, create, create. And you have all these ideas, but you just got to decide. Okay, I'm going to put this in the very top. And as you've seen, I didn't glue the whole thing because... Um, remember that I showed you before that you may want to put something underneath this. So like maybe there's a picture that has a lot of um, empty space in it that you just, you can either cover it or you can put something on top of it. So yeah, that'll work like that. Okay. And then, um, you know, you've got these extras here. You can actually put like one in here. It could be like a little surprise. Or after you put the picture down, you can put this on top of it or put this on the picture. I mean, I really love this Holy Spirit and I want to use it. But I want to put the picture down first before I do that. Okay. If you're giving this away to somebody and that's your intention, um, you can actually like, for example, this is going to be, you're going to um, put a two by two uh, picture in here. Okay. But you are intending this to give to every, to every, to somebody, excuse me. And you want to uh, have it all done. Just glue the, t the bottom here, but nothing that touches the, the, um, square right here and then that will help it out okay all right folks there you have it
Let me know what you think. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. And also, I'm going to have some more videos coming out. So if you like to do uh, paper crafting with me, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you know that when the next video is out. Okay, you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.